Okay, so I'm Brittany from Grassroots Rescue. Uh, I am the co-founder along with Carly uh, Crenshaw. Um, we have been doing this for four years in August. Um, we are a foster-based rescue, nonprofit, 501c3. Um, foster-based just means that we are, all of our dogs are in homes all across Delaware. This is Oslo. I am Jeremy Tucker. I'm the Director of Marketing and Communications for Delaware Electric Cooperative. So I think the easiest way to describe my role is as the cooperative storyteller. It's my job to tell the story of employees, uh, of the co-op, how we're making a difference. One of the ways that we can do this is, is taking the Who Powers You program that was set up by Touchstone Energy. and we, we took some of our members and found out what they were doing for the community and we actually highlighted a couple of them. We were fortunate enough to have a winner. We were able to provide them some additional funds and um, worked out very good for them. In addition to promoting her in local media, local newspapers, local TV stations, online, social media, we thought it would be appropriate uh, to provide additional funding uh, to Carly Swope and her organization. So we gave her $1,000 uh, that she thinks will go a long way towards helping other animals uh, across the state of Delaware. My name is Carly Crenshaw. I am one of the co-founders of Grassroots Rescue. We are here at our Whiskers, Wags, and Wine event at the Culture Pearl Liquor Company. Uh, since we've started, we've probably placed about 600 animals. Um, average about 100, 150 a year, depending. If we get litters of puppies, it, the numbers go up. It's something that's built inside of us that it's just our purpose. Um, it's, it's driven by dogs, definitely, because it's kind of a thankless um, thing, but we are, you can tell the gratitude from the dogs when you take them out of bad situations and then you see them with their families. Um, it really becomes full circuit for us. We always, always need fosters. Um, we can't pull or rescue animals without places to put them, and since we don't have a shelter, you know, we rely on the people that are fostering for our organization to take care of the dogs. This is Oslo. He, he and his brother Iva came to us um, about two months ago. They have deformities of the elbows, um, which is a congenital disorder. So they went to VOSM in Maryland. They had surgery to put their elbows back together. Um, their pins come out on Tuesday and then they start extensive therapy and hopefully they'll be normal puppies after that. Our hopes and needs for the future are to eventually have, you know, a place to call our own, a, sh a small shelter with kennels. So we're hoping to move forward and continue to do what we're doing. Community is really important to what we do and it's the backbone of this cooperative. You know, our employees, our members of the community, they're invested in the community and this cooperative is invested in the community. Oh, you mad? You mad? You done?